Hello all. Um, hello to the, um, oh damn, I've forgotten your name, the guy whose video I'm replying to. Um, Darth Render, that was it. Yeah. Hi Darth, and uh, hi Captain O'Awesome, and all them. Uh, Captain O, uh, remember I dropped you a line earlier about um, how many, uh, about how many uh, people uh, atheism quote-unquote had killed? I'm sorry, I should have mentioned uh, that was only communism, in, specifically in the USSR. And um, anyway, I'm here to talk about this supposed atheist movement that's been going on around, uh, talking about my position in terms of my belief um, on a great variety of issues, and um, about what perhaps could actually be done, perhaps um, to not only improve uh, stuff in terms of getting religion put into a more appropriate category, um, or getting rid of it altogether, depending, whatever works, whatever suits, uh, but also to hopefully solve some of our social problems as well. Um, I once saw a um, t-shirt which actually said, um, the militant agnostic. I don't know and neither do you. Um, I think that was probably one of the most appropriate lines I've ever heard because um, even I originally was a Christian, still am a Christian to a certain extent, I don't, I'd call myself an agnostic at this point, but the quite, quite literally the term agnostic originally meant a, a agnostic or against knowledge, basically meaning like I don't know. So um, one of the things which I'd, I'd appreciate, first things first, um, Christians, uh, fundamentalist Christians, stop calling agnostics atheists because uh, we aren't. We're just simply uh, uncertain one way or the other if there is a God. In some cases, we don't care. Atheists, please stop call it, uh, c uh, claiming us agnostics as your own. We are uncertain about the issue. We're just simply reserving judgment until all info comes in. I would strongly appreciate it if you wouldn't keep, uh, you know, we are a group unto ourselves. We are simply reserving judgment, asking questions. That's it. So, okay, good. Now that that's out of the way with, um, I'd like to cover uh, the next bit of this uh, bit, Atheist Movement. Okay, um, the Atheist Movement. I've watched a couple of videos. Um, I've heard uh, uh, some various different things. I've heard a lot of, uh, I've heard some, uh, some ad hominem attacks uh, talking about hypocrisy. Uh, I've heard some double standards being used. Uh, if this is true about um, uh, Captain Owasm, about the reason why uh, or how you got your uh, site put back on after it was banned, um, I'm kind of pissed it was actually banned, uh, despite uh, some of the stuff that you had put in there. I thought it was funny. Um, even though I thought a couple of the points were off, but what the hey, I already covered those in another email. Um, to Darth Render, um, I like your idea about uh, calling it a mind virus. Uh, I think that um, that could all that term could also apply to a couple of other things, including uh, creationism, lack of critical thinking, lack of proper understanding of science, which is part of the reason why my why um, our government up here in Canada has uh, tried to renounce global warming yet again by um, putting in only half measures against uh, CO2 emissions. Um, okay, anyway. That's all a uh, side note and um, in amongst com uh, converting people to atheism. I have a suggestion. If we went about the way um, communism, the way Karl Marx initially suggested in Das Kapital, he suggested a worldwide uni um, uh, workers, uni uh, workers uniting when the world had a global level of industry. We currently have that right now. and. Um, and what with the atheist movement, uh, mo you know, growing in such numbers right now, in addition to the skeptic movements and, uh, you know, in the age of rationalist and reason movements coming up, now would be the perfect time to work on such a movement, overthrowing the existing system, working on a slightly more communist-based system. Um, of course, there would have to be quite a, a lot more kinks worked out, considering uh, Marx wrote in a time which was uh, <laughs> a little outdated, but, you know. Um, actually, I have one proposition for just such an idea. Um, if you go to the website uh, humanitiesfuturecosmocracy.blogspot.com, um, I am a member of what's known as the Cosmocratic Movement, which talks about uh, colonization of space. Um, the science backing this is well documented for the better part of several decades about how um, if we managed to work out the kinks of say the, bi the Biosphere 2 project and colonize the asteroid belt, we would have enough resources to last humanity for 50,000 years um, at our present level of industry and if we moved heavy industry up into space um, it would give the Earth a chance to heal. Anyway, that's the environmental issue. When it comes to socialism and working in terms of atheism, it would further re... Um, it would further... Um, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, Reinforce the idea that um, uh, that the main point of morality is the collective uh, survival of the species, and to, um, people living together in a colony where everything has to be recycled and everybody pulls their weight. This idea of morality, which is um, non-religion based, would be further reinforced and um, would probably help overthrow religion here on Earth perfectly. Um, 
so yeah, like I said, the um, anyway, I'm going to be doing a proper video uh, sometime soon talking about cosmocracy. I'll be wearing my chem lab coat for people who, uh, who unfortunately uh, work on appeal to authority and can't understand science properly. That's only a few uh, creationists who I've been having some troubles with lately and a couple of spoon benders. But beyond that, as an aside. Um, so yeah, hopefully, um, I, if you guys are serious about an atheist movement, might I suggest that we uh, rework on uh, bringing up some newer ideas of communism, working on some ideas of how to save our hu uh, save the human race as a collective right now, and let's not worry about uh, trying to deal with the whole uh, God or no God, but dealing more so with the symptoms and the actual issues that are um, that are really causing problems, like the creationism, like the faith-based uh, initiatives that George W. Bush is putting in, and our Prime Minister up in Canada, Stephen Harper. Um, the, the fact that he's got a psychic working as a personal advisor, that's a minor note, but you get the idea. Let's work on the major issues, uh, work on stopping war, work on putting more charity, work on redistribution of resources, work on putting solar panels up in geostationary orbits so there's um, energy on the North American level for the entire planet for millions of years. Um, you get the idea. Let's work on uh, pertinent stuff right now, even in heck, even time buying measures like windmills and stuff like that worldwide and biotech, uh, bio, uh, bio genetically engineered uh, wheats to grow in the desert. Let's work on some of these workable things right now and working on, uh, you know, on promoting greens and stuff like that and a little bit less on the debate between God and no God um, because once we've started dealing with most of these major problems anyway, um, if the uh, debate between God versus no God becomes that important anymore, um, Probably society itself will change anyway, so um, you know the whole, the whole uh, you know acceptance of atheism will come as a byproduct. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's basically my idea. The next major point I'd like to bring up is the whole belief on parapsychology and um, just kind of finishing off my whole anthology on parapsychology, ESP testing, spoon bending, that sort of shit. Um, there is a lot of fraud going on right now. I really don't appreciate it. Um, I also don't appreciate some of the skeptics who haven't been uh, um, who haven't been uh, email um, haven't been properly dealing with stuff. Um, I emailed both James Randi. I talked to other skeptics. Um, I quoted a, 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 an article from the Skeptical Inquirer talking about the experimenter effect. Nobody's been willing to do anything. And look. I don't know how many times I have to say this. If we can test and prove that there is no such thing as an experimenter effect, then we can also prove that all of parapsychological results were due to something like statistical anomaly or something rational. We can close the door on that forever and move on to more important things. Except, of course, when it comes to uh, informational work like debunking psychic surgery so people don't die from this sort of fraudulent stuff. But you get the idea. The um, So in closing, uh, once again, for the atheist movement, um, I'm maybe hopefully working in conjunction with stuff like the Cosmocratic Movement, maybe even working a newer form of communism, um, working some stuff that might actually work for once. Let's work on practical details, not just on trying to get out, you know, uh, you know, the, the atheism and stuff, um, not just working on trying to, you know, do the atheist versus religion debate. I know there are social justice movement groups, but um, let's try to do something a little bit more concrete, shall we? Let's, you know, let, let's work on some of the other social justice issues, and atheism will take care of itself. You know, it'll uh, it'll come as a byproduct when people are a little bit more enlightened and a bit more educated. So, um, yeah, to the rest of the atheists out there, um, I commend your work. I commend your beliefs. Um, as an agnostic, I'm personally still taking a look at this as an intellectual exercise. Um, you know, leaning towards uh, God. You know, whatever. That's a matter of personal belief. That's a matter for um, that's a matter for intellectual debates later. Um, for more serious topics, let's try to deal on stuff that's going to help the collective survival of our species. Thanks. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for my vid on cosmocracy coming up once I finish my final chem exam, uh, my chem final exam for this term.